Alrighty, so China has recently finished um, their space station. Uh, in this video, I'll basically be going over what that means for the future and why China may now be a major space power. Uh, so China recently launched the final piece of its new Tiangong space station, which completed the construction. Um, the lab module named uh, Mengxin, uh, meaning dreaming of the heavens, allows the station to house up to six people at once and enables a variety of scientific experiments and operations. Some space scientists have claimed that Tiangong, which is the largest infrastructure in orbit, owned and run exclusively by a single country, can change the direction and pace of the quote-unquote space race. Um, so this is actually a very important accomplishment for China's fast-growing space program, uh, which is planning to build a base on the moon, deploy a lunar rover, and send new landers and orbiters to Mars. Uh, it is also the first long-term neighbor the International Space Station has had since Russia's Mir station, uh, which was deorbited in 2001. Uh, it is important to note that the International Space Station actually won't be running for much longer uh, as it is pretty old and outdated, um, which means the Chinese space station may soon be the only orbiting space station. Uh, I kind of re like relate it to the International Space Station being like a, a first generation iPhone or like a first generation Mac. Um, and this new Chinese space station is like the latest version of the iPhone and the latest update of the Mac. It's basically like a souped up upgraded version of what once was. Um, so at the beginning of 2022, NASA announced that Biden extended the International Space Station's operations to 2030, which signals a change being made by the end of this decade. Um, NASA's Artemis 1 program actually will allow them to continue occupying and researching the moon though. Um, so going into a little bit of detail uh, about Artemis 1 and what that consists of. Um, so pulling this actually directly from the NASA website. Artemis 1's primary operations goal uh, is to assure a safe crew module entry, descent, splashdown, and recovery on the moon. Um, they will have a space launch system rocket um, attached to the Orion spacecraft. Um, and this launch system will carry 10 small satellites that will perform their own science and technology investigations. Um, so basically, they are testing out how to get humans on the moon to set up base which will then propel them further into space and figure out how to get to mars properly um and we kind of all know who's been advocating to go to mars um, the chinese space program plans to have tiangong last for at least 10 to 15 years with the possibility of expanding that lifespan in the future. So space exploration and crewed space flight have historically been dominated by the United States and its allies, uh, such as Europe, Canada, and Japan, as well as Russia, whose space program has recently been in a slump um, considering this current war they're fighting but china has now achieved what the united states and russia did a few decades ago um, and did it so quickly independently and with some upgrades from the previous designs um, tiangong was built in china in only one and a half years despite the fact that planning for the station started in 2011 uh, the first core module was launched in April of 2021, and their first astronauts touched down in June of that same year. The following module went live in July of 2022, followed by the final piece in early November of 2022. Uh, so similar to the International Space Station, China Station will offer some partnership opportunities uh, through which other uh, countries can 
uh, conduct experiments. Um, they actually already have a Saudi Arabian experiment on board and researchers from European institution have proposed experiments on multiple topics such as gamma ray bursts, um, space medicine, and atomic clocks. Unlike the International Space Station, which continually depends on cooperation and support, China has different priorities and plans to show their leadership without depending on other nations' space agencies. Um, they have announced officially that NASA will not be one of their partners. Um, so this is just the latest updates on um, how China is going to take over the whole world. Um, they've been making quite a lot of important moves this year. Um, and this this is a really big one considering the time frame of it. Also considering the fact that the International Space Station may be expiring soon. So it's very convenient that China have just thrown up a upgraded version of that in record timing i must say um but i hope you did enjoy this i uh, hope you did find some value from it maybe you learned something new that you didn't know before um i appreciate it if you could leave me a like maybe drop a comment on what you think about this uh and subscribe for more also maybe check out this video in relation to this one